we got another eight series content, um, not like you asked it for, but customer rung up. Can you do a manual conversion? Yes, I can. Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we got another 8 series content, which we love it. You must admit, it looks stunning. As you can see, this one is on airbags, uh, slammed to the ground, but obviously we can lift it up afterwards, um, just with the remote control. Anyway, why we have this 8 series in? As you've seen from thumbnail, we are doing a manual conversion. That means we have a six-speed gearbox from E39 M5 going into 840Ci. I personally have never done the swap before. Don't have a lot of experience with manual swaps in general, but I've done a few. So you and I can learn together. Hopefully it's not gonna be that difficult, but which I reckon it shouldn't. But we'll see the main thing. We have everything on the table. Most of the small bits we bore is bought from a BMW dealership from a catalog, which we shouldn't miss anything. Only thing where we probably will struggle is the prop shaft, because we don't have a prop shaft. We may be gonna modify ourselves. If that's not gonna work out, we're gonna send it to engineering company. They'll do it for us, uh, as long as we know the measurements. Um, yeah, enough of talking. Let's do some work. So we're gonna start first of all with underneath. We're gonna do all the stuff underneath first. Exhaust off, heat shells off, prop shaft off, gearbox off. Uh, we also, I forgot to mention, we're gonna change the rear diff to the LSD from E32. Um, and then, yeah, once everything is off, we're gonna see what's what. Five minutes into job, we already have a problem. Is yeah. this problem? A problem. No more problem. <laughs> no more problem. Exhaust, probe shaft off, now gearbox. But remember, when you're taking the gearbox out, make sure you take with the torque converter. That means undo the torque converter and take the gearbox with the torque converter, not the gearbox separate, let's say gearbox first and then torque converter. That's wrong. It's coming. Stop. Got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You we got, got to, to pump, pump it up. up. Don't you know? Pump it up. Copyright. <laughs> it's our song. It can't be copyright. Because we. We are sang. doing the pumping. <laughs> no, if we sing it, yeah, it's not copyright. Ah, okay. It's like, yeah, it's our song. There's different lyrics. Our song. <laughs> Nothing's gonna fall on me, is it? No, I wouldn't stand under that.
Last one before the gearbox goes off. Last one. Attention, attention. I need light this side. That's it. That's it. That's it. Stop. Leave it like that. It's going down. Ah, messy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So as you can see, gearbox is off. It's actually still hot. Um, the car being dropped off after three o'clock. Um, well, yeah, we took uh, exhaust prop shaft off. And I think it just only took over an hour to strip it down so far. And um, now, um, yeah, I'm going home now, but we'll come back to it tomorrow and gonna proceed. So as you can see, we got the old gearbox out, flywheel off, and um, now we're gonna remove all the gearbox cable, pedals, um, and start to assemble small parts back together because we got a bunch of new stuff all separate. Um, customer wanted the input, uh, output shaft seal replaced, I think input as well. Um, we're missing currently, at the moment, small bearing which goes inside the crankshaft but we're gonna sort that soon. And um, yeah, see how it goes. All right, guys, here is the box and here is the rest of the stuff on the floor, which came, well, with the customer. He's bought it in the dealership and uh, that's supposed to be everything for the swap. But most of the stuff, it just reminds me when I've done uh, Ricky's 740 timing chain, he bought everything through the books and there was a half box useless stuff. So it turns out probably dealerships sold you whatever they could sell and that's it. Because as I said, there's a half of the stuff we don't need. For example, um, sl um, not a slave, master cylinder, or slave cylinder, sorry, um, came with a pipe, uh, which is the pipe for the clutch is push-up type, but we don't, we missing the push-up type pipe if that makes sense. Then we don't need this pipe, we need this threaded pipe instead. So it's just mind blowing. There is loads of stuff which is like we confused. And um, same as for example with the pedal box, he bought uh, loads of stuff. He bought two pedals, all the clips and bolts. And either way, there was a quite few stuff missing. And I thought, you know what, I'm not having it. I just long, uh, rung to my mate. He had the spare one for like 70 pounds ish. So I was just like, buy the whole second-hand part from E34, job done. Because um, I hear, I can see here is slightly, money is a bit wasted, but is what it is. Now you know. So never ever buy everything from the dealership because whatever you're going to see, like nuts, bolts, clips, everything is separate and you start to guess where, what's going. But um, we'll manage. All right, now we're going to install the crankshaft bearing, that's a tiny bearing which sits inside there, tap it in master. That's it. Now flywheel locked tight on, these bolts comes with the flywheel and there is one hole which is bigger, which is this, goes down here. So the flywheel is in. I really don't understand why specifically these flywheels, they have a T60 inside, but the outer hole doesn't match the bolt. See, it's not 100% aligned. And for some reason, the T60 I used, I had to grind that off a bit. So actually I can get it in. And even then it's slightly on the piss. So, um, well I managed, but I've noticed I see all M62 manual flywheels. Um, they have that issue. I don't know, maybe you have P60 
BMW have a special tool for that? Let me know. See the winner, no more TV dinners. Wake up and roll me a wood in the morning. I heard it go good with the vitamin C. Baby, you don't need no friend for this evening. Believe me, you better all ride with me. Slide to the lure of my leisure, but still had to cop me a crib right outside of the D. I let them think what they wanted, cause bitch, I got bundles of bread, it ain't bothering me. Right. Let's talk about the pedal assembly. To be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but as far as I know, um, this brake pedal comes off different. I'm not 100% sure if, oh no, looks like, looks like the box assembly stays. That comes off. I got two separate pedals. I uh, got all the pins and stuff, I reckon. And um, yeah, then I'll see. Then I'll see what's what. As I said, never done this swap before, but I'm just gonna use my common sense. So we got the central panel out. There's two screws. Obviously the gear, gear knob just pulls out and just unplug all these. And the whole thing comes out. Anyway, a uh, couple 10 mils. This whole section, whole gear, um, automatic gear assembly comes off. As you can see, couple minutes and it's out one two three ten mils then I took the cable pushed in that's dropped down there you blank that hole and obviously this is where your gear lever will sit I've been up late in the lab just in case you was looking that's where I'm gonna probably be make sure you thought about all of that shit that you saying before you done brought it to me right the grommet is installed pedals installed still got uh, cylinder to install get the part number for, uh, for the grommet just in case if anyone needs uh, now just this and I think the pedal box is pretty much done stick one two three four five six well there is no gearbox yet but that's the next step I got I got what you need baby start the Chevy make a scene baby LA BB been the team baby Pop a word to G, baby, look Lab till I'm finished Had a handful of lemons Through the hand Got a bag, now the hands In the business For my hand It's a ticket Talking Mazda for the biggest That's a comma And a comma And a comma Gotta get it Right guys After two weeks of waiting We finally got our prop shaft here As you can see It's 100 mil extended That means what I done The back section is original Untouched uh, We also replaced the middle center bearing um so as you can see this section right here is extended and that's how they've done it also balanced this is the company which done it um total cost including center bearing it was uh nearly 400 pounds but i mean yeah it sounds expensive ish but if you don't have any other choice so this is the way to do it so then we have a e32 750 lsd diff to install and then afterwards we're going to install the prop shaft exhaust do a bit of wiring and finish the interior a bit in the center and we can have a bit of a test <laughs> Right, 
the swap is done let's go through exactly what's been done and what's what so you have idea what's going on overall uh, from start to finish so first of all um this plug was for uh gearbox ecu that's been out i uh, took the most of the wiring off um there was stuff like that but it's not powered up just left it there uh, so there is no excess wiring down there over here that's about it um that pipe um wh which one is it this one this is the pipe for your master cylinder you got a hole there and basically connected to the main brake fluid reservoir so the pipe goes from there at the back towards there so not like e34s or e32s i reckon uh you got separate reservoir here i was thinking in the very beginning to put it there but i can't see is it gonna actually look nice but i've done this way and looks you can't even see it and looks pretty much original i think that's the way it should be i'm not sure but uh that's that um to start the car you need uh, you got ews box there pin number nine I still need to finish the wiring pin number nine goes to positive 12 volt feed so as soon as you sw uh, switch the ignition on that's for your that's actually to start up the car then reverse light wiring you'll have a plug there um doesn't matter which wire is which that goes to your reverse light switch it goes all the way down to the gearbox and that's pretty much it on the wiring side Oh, and the pedals, um, E34 uh, pedal box fits, but you don't actually need to change the whole pedal box. You need just a third pedal, um, couple maybe brackets, bolts. Uh, so uh, if you get a chance, obviously buy the whole pedal box, it will be easier to understand, but uh, you'll need a new master cylinder. And yeah, as I said, a couple bits and pieces and, and it bolts on exactly same as the E34. So no rocket signs over here. All this is gonna be back, put back together. Let's go underneath. So this is how it looks from underneath. Obviously we installed the E32 364, I think, no. 364 ratio LSD diff. I still need to test drive, but that's gonna be afterwards. So this section not being touched. This section extended by 100 mil, and this um, bracket, all the gear linkage you can still get from BMW E39 M5 box, uh, slave cylinder. Um, we made a tiny, tiny so he, um, heat shield, uh, so because the pipe goes through there on the way top, so you can't actually see it from here, but it looks more. I reckon tidy um so no excess wiring this side just the lambda sensors and yeah that's about it nothing nothing too specific or no rocket science as i said uh because they done uh they done um original e e31 manual but very very few numbers so you can still buy bracket gear linkage and the gearbox you can either now nowadays you can get adapter plates uh, either 535 manual five speed which looks like that that's from that's a five speed but that's obviously six speed so if you which way which way which either way you're gonna go you'll need to measure the prop shaft because for the six speeds uh, obviously that's a hundred mil but for five speed i'm not 100 percent sure probably a bit longer than that and yeah that's about it
the manual swap is done now a bit of a test drive uh, already done a first test drive everything seemed to be fine um, the only thing what will be up to customer if he wants to map the ECU just to gain a bit more power but the traction control rest of the stuff works uh, speedo works with the second gear you can reach up to about 60 miles per hour uh, with a 364 ratio diff and um, yeah that's about it if you ever ever have issues with the automatic gearbox this I think this is the way to go um, the car is old school obviously I wouldn't say it's a pleasure driving manual but it's all right it's cool especially for such a car like that obviously with auto it's more comfortable but it all depends where you live and what you're going to use the car for but uh, overall yeah i'm happy with the job happy with the swap um i know the six-speed gearbox is quite expensive but as i said previously now you can um, find uh, adapter place you can stick any six cylinder gearboxes for example uh, you just need to work out the ratios uh, the strongest gearbox is uh, 330D the 6 speed manual from diesel version um, but many people use this 5 speed from any type of any 6 cylinder ones like M52s, M54s, you name it because um, as I said these 6 speed manuals is quite hard to find and they are expensive <laughs> So if we're gonna do, for, for example, six gear, about 60 miles per hour, we got just slightly over 2,000 RPM, just. different measurements so double check so guys the swap is done we got the stick we got three pedals and we got 840 manual six speed um, if you got any questions leave the comment below with regards to swap um, this was my first swap on the e31 as you know, we're also going to do S62 and that's obviously going to be manual as well. So that gave me a bit of experience towards the S60 swoop, S62 swap because uh, that will be another whole new experience regards to S62 and E31. But now obviously I know regards to pedals, all the linkages, uh, mounts, prop shaft, all that kind of stuff, already I have the experience to that. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.